three, two, one, zero, and lift off of Space Shuttle Atlantis. The James Webb Space Telescope is gearing up to be one of humanity's most important space observation feats. The world of science has huge hopes for this space telescope because it is significantly more powerful than any previous space observatory ever deployed by mankind. It will allow the scientists to investigate far-off objects in space in ways that they have never been able to before. The first verified interstellar object, named Oumuamua, which traveled through our solar system in 2017, is one of the objects that NASA scientists are most thrilled to explore. Yes, you heard right. Scientists want to know if Oumuamua was an extraterrestrial spaceship, and if this comet-shaped flying object came from another planet. Space is vast, and even traveling at the speed of light across such great distances can take hundreds, if not millions of years. The Voyager 1, which has flown a staggering 23 billion kilometers, is the furthest that any human-made item has traveled. This is still merely 0.002 light years. Even if an asteroid achieves just 1% of the speed of light, it would take about 440 light years to travel from the closest star, Alpha Centauri. But, as you are aware, nothing is impossible in this universe of infinite possibilities. On 19 October 2017, Scientists at NASA's Pan-STARRS Observatory spotted something bizarre and unheard of. This giant boulder is not your regular asteroid. This isn't even like a normal comet. Comets are small icy bodies that develop tails made of volatile materials that vaporize off the comet's body from the heat of the sun. The physics of the rock completely blew the minds of scientists and compelled them to check and recheck the data time and again. The trajectory of Oumuamua was puzzling to scientists. According to their estimates, it was actually standing still before entering the solar system, as if waiting for something. This is unusual for an asteroid that should have been moving across intergalactic space at a rapid rate. It behaved as if it was powered by some internal power source. Five days later on October 22nd, NASA had enough data to conclude that this exotic object wasn't from our solar system and was indeed an interstellar object hurtling through space. This was enough to give birth to many conspiracy theories among ufologists, who claim that this thing was nothing but an extraterrestrial technological object sent to our solar system for observational purposes. Some people believe that it was some sort of highly evolved alien laser sail, and that it is a probe driven by the propulsive radiation of the same starlight. Some people like to go even further and claim that Oumuamua might have left trackers behind to watch the Earth and our activities. Although NASA has never acknowledged that Oumuamua was an alien spacecraft, but it has also never denied it, leaving a big question mark in the minds of many. Oumuamua is currently around the planet Neptune and is traveling at a blistering speed of about 5.5 astronomical units per year. This speed is much faster than anything we've ever sent into space and the challenge of sending a spacecraft to catch Oumuamua pushes the current envelope of space exploration to the limit. Some experts think that this velocity was achieved by Oumuamua during its birth someplace far away in another star system or nebula, maybe as a result of a catastrophic collision between an exoplanet and another cosmic object. The collision's massive explosive energy hurled Oumuamua into space. It might also have been a supernova explosion. As a star nears the end of its life cycle, it becomes a red giant, which is an inflated form of the star hundreds of times larger, before shrinking and exploding violently. The blast waves may travel several light years from the center, since it's one of the brightest explosions in the cosmos, so it's possible that this supernova ripped some exoplanets apart. Oumuamua, being one of them, might have gained a lot of energy and speed to begin its long journey towards the Earth. This might explain why Oumuamua continues to spin so wildly. This interplanetary asteroid may have wandered the cosmos for 500 million years before finally arriving in our solar system in 2017. Sending some form of probe to this strange object will undoubtedly expose its secrets. Scientists have even devised Project Lyra. The mission's goal is to deploy a probe to Oumuamua and other interstellar objects before they reach too far away. Around the year 2050, these probes will approach the rock and transmit data that will be utilized to examine its composition. 
but it looks like the mystery that was dismissed and disregarded has finally gained traction after the disposal of the new $10 billion space gadget. The Hubble Space Telescope is one of the most famous and powerful, having reliably given spectacular photographs of various regions of the universe for decades. The JWST, on the other hand, is far more powerful and costly than the Hubble. The JWST is also a long way distant from the Hubble Space Telescope. The former orbits the Earth at a distance of around 350 miles, while the latter spins around the Sun at a distance of approximately 1 million miles. This implies NASA won't be able to send people to fix or reprogram the JWST after it's launched. The JWST's larger main mirror, which spans 6.5 meters wide, allows it to catch things billions of light years away, thereby bringing us back in time. In fact, because we can now reach as close to the Big Bang as possible, the JWST will allow us to snap infant images of the universe. The new telescope uses infrared to pick up signals from heat-emitting objects many miles away. NASA has installed a shield beneath the telescope to protect it from the influence of the Sun and the Earth's heat. The five-layer shield is so huge that it will cover the whole tennis court. The James Webb Space Telescope is really a game-changer. Interstellar objects have never been seen in the ranges of near- and mid-infrared wavelengths, so the possibility of finding something strange is highly profound. Our whole knowledge of the cosmos and how everything interacts with each other will be altered as a result of this research. The concepts will be confusing and difficult to grasp at first, but they may later assist us in comprehending new concepts, such as how quickly humans can travel between solar systems. We could also potentially learn the secrets of dead alien planets and how feasible interstellar travel actually is, ultimately answering the question of whether we are alone in the universe. Although this is a whole new topic, Currently, the sensors onboard JWST make it supremely sensitive and can ultimately power the telescope to investigate the chemical composition of these objects. This would mean that if an interstellar object is found to contain valuable resources, it could start a whole new industry of asteroid mining. Where they come from, what led to their creation, and what the conditions were in their home systems are some of the questions that can also finally be answered. We do have the drive, ambition, and motivation. Once we are able to observe more interstellar objects, it will be easier to identify them, and it may also be easier to study them. There are still a lot of secrets out there in the galaxy, and who knows what we might find? What are your thoughts on this? How do you imagine focusing in on Oumuamua and discovering it to be a highly advanced extraterrestrial spaceship? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section. Consider subscribing the channel if you like the video. And as always, thanks for watching.